Hi, in this session I'll cover how to separate last and first names. Sometimes you may have a list that, of names or other things that are kind of just separated by commas or semicolons. Uh, in our case, we, we have a last and first names that separated by a comma. And you may want those in separate columns, like you want the last name in column B and the first name in column C. Well, there's uh, two ways I'll show you how to do this. One is with the text to columns feature and the other one is with some esoteric functions. So first the text to columns feature. Really this is actually a very super duper easy way to do it. You basically just select the column and in the data tab go to the data tools and go click the text to columns. The wizard will come up and it'll ask if uh, this is a delimited uh, if these are these values are delimited meaning they're separated by some kind of character. In our case it's a comma or is it fixed width? Maybe there's uh, fixed tabs between them. But in our case, of course, it's separated by commas. So we'll go ahead and keep that selection, go next. And we have a pre preview here. We have our commas uh, checkbox checked. And we have a preview here, and this is how it's going to separate out. And basically, this is the way that we want it. So after that, we click next. Uh, you don't have to worry about the data preview here. And we can just click finish. And basically, it's pretty much done for us. Um, one thing that we might want to think about cleaning it up is sometimes uh, with comma separated when the first and last names, there's a space before the first name. You can see here there's a space. If I backspace, there's a space there. And what you want to do if this is something where you would put into another um, document, maybe a mail merge, you, you want to get rid of that space. And one thing, we can do is use the trim function. So it's equal trim. And what it does is it removes all the spaces in a text except for what's between um, words. So ba basically anything before or after. So we just type trim and select that cell and close the parentheses. And now you can see that there's no space there because it has taken off. And I'll just double click the fill handle and bring it down. And I can just choose copy and in and go to paste special and just paste the values because we don't want to paste the formula back there and I'll go ahead and just uh, delete this whoops I just uh, unselect that and delete that so that's basically the text to columns feature now the other f the way to do it is with a couple functions and in this in this case we're also looking for the characters that separate the first and last names of course it would be the comma so what we want to do is first find which where it is in the cell and we can use the find function and we just use the find function and it's going to ask for what text we want to find the comma and we want to find it within where which which cell and we'll find it in that cell and then we'll just do a close parenthesis enter so it tells us that the comma is in the sixth place of the cell if we count from Smith, one S M I T one two three four five six. It's in the sixth position. And what we want to do is we want to take the last name first and put it into this into this column. And we can use the left function. So basically, I'll put the left function in front of the find function. So left, and I want to find within this text and it will bring back all the number of characters so since it found since find found the comma at the sixth place what it's gonna do I'll, I'll go ahead and let this one execute um, press enter it's gonna include the comma so you don't want to include the comma you just want to basically make it disappear so what we want to do is we want to move back one so we'll go find minus one and so that will give us Smith so I get to go ahead and Double click this fill handle and drop that down. Now we've got our all our last names here. Uh, maybe we, we want to bring it up back here. Okay, bring that fill handle back here so it'll also copy um, that cell. So basically, what I've done when you double click the fill handle, you move it up and down, is you're copying the uh, formulas up. So I'll go ahead uh, since this is since this is in the same format. I'll just go ahead and start in column C, and I want to put that anything past the comma into column C, basically the first names. So the same thing here, I want to find the comma, right? 
I want to find the comma in that cell. Oops. I forgot to put a comma there. Find it in here, right? Of course, that's going to give in this cell, it's the fifth place. One, two, three, four, five. And instead of using the left, I'm going to use the mid function. So mid starts off at the middle of a text string. How many places that you want it to start? So mid open parentheses in this text, comma, where do you want to start? See how that how does this little tip tells you where you want to start? So I want to start in do I want to start in the fifth place where the comma starts? No, because basically that'll start you there. You want and you don't want that space, so you want to you want to add two to it. So we'll go plus two. Because that, that's where the first character of the first name will show up. Alright. And then we hit uh, press enter. Whoops. We needed to oh, so we needed to uh, to indicate how many characters we want. So from mid says, okay, start at the find, which is five plus two now. And how many characters do we want to bring back? So hopefully no name is more than 50 characters. So I'll just kind of put 50. Now you can put, if you've got uh, other types of text that are maybe more than 50, you can put 100. Uh, or 200. Uh, just be aware that in Excel, the maximum amount of characters allowed in a cell is uh, a little over 32,000. So, just enough room, I hope. So I'll go ahead and press uh, Control Enter to keep it in that cell. So now it picked out the first, and I can just double click this and bring it down. So that's the other way to do it with the formula. You see, this is a little bit more uh, involved, a lot more formulas that you have to put in there. Uh, I personally like to text the columns quick and easy. But if you like to play with formulas, you can try to use the left, mid, and find functions. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.